Hey guys, this is Shandra and I wanted to show you my latest mini album that I created. I used envelopes and I was inspired by Ginger at My Sister Scrapper to use square envelopes. So I had a package from Recollections of five and three quarters by five and three quarters square envelopes and cards. I have a chipboard cover spine and I did use the craft text to cover the spine. And I want to run through these little embellishments that I have. Um, I bought a pack from Marion Smith. Um, it was like a grab bag or whatever. And so these are the Junk and Gem flowers. This is Marion Smith. These are two buttons from Le Bottom. And the paper is Hello Beautiful by Heidi Swap. And there's only 12 sheets in here. So I was not able to cover all of my tags. If I would have done my tags my normal way of just cutting strips and stuff like that, I would have had enough. This rosette trim is from Tim Holtz. Um, and I don't remember where I got this pink um, trim at. Okay, so as far as my binding, I cut little binding strips and stuck them through this paper. So it's like a mesh of the slot binding and the hidden hinge binding. And I'm sure it's been done before. Um, I wanted to see how easy it was to make as compared to the hidden hinge. And I didn't really like the slot binding idea for myself. Um, well, because I was making envelope mini, so I needed a little, I needed this hinge to attach it to. So I stuck two envelopes together and then I used a little um, piece of paper folded in half to create a little gusset in between the two envelopes. I created a little pocket here with just a piece of cardstock. I rounded the corners with my half inch crocodile and I have some trim here and I have a wood birdhouse, bird cage. I don't know. So I have the envelopes and the cards both. I used both of them. So here's the card. As I said, I ran out of paper. So there's the first one. And on the top, I glued these paper clips. Um, decorative paper clips that I got. This was in a collection, and I want to say it was Simple Stories. It was part of the ephemera pack that I bought, and then I used paper clips like this that I got um, from the dollar spot at Michael's. So there's the information on all that. So this tag on the back, this card, I made it so it stuck out, and then again, here's some Simple Stories stickers that I used there. And then this was a piece of adhesive backed trim that I had in my collection. This was from Marion Smith and it just had like the little ring on it. And I used this, oh, I used these, um, it's from Tool Shop that I got at Menards. It's just wire cutters. And I took that circle out, put it on there. And it, here's some just um, bling. So I have my robe on again because it's cold in here again. I don't understand why my husband likes it so cold. He says that he can't take off his skin, but I can put more clothes on. So I always get froze in the car, in the house. I'm starting to regret finally getting central air because now I'm always freezing. Okay, enough of my blabber. Here we go. Here's the... Um, wooden I'm trying to think what brand they are but it's a wooden camera and another bling piece from Marion Smith another tag and I did hot glue these paper clips on there so they wouldn't come off this is a bag envelope thing from Tim Holtz and I just decorated a piece of cardstock that fit inside there just use some of the stickers tag here these are just regular card stock. They're not cards. I left this one on the top so that if I wanted to, I can stick a picture or something underneath there. Again, all these stickers are for the same Simple Stories collection. I just thought the colors matched. I grabbed them out of my stash. I'm trying to use what I have up. But, you know, I always see new paper collections and have to buy them, so... I just stuck the last one I had on that sticker. Some more rosette trim, some more of that pink trim on the back. And that, and this one only has five pages. I had originally made um, this to have, I ended up having seven pages and then I cut, I cut the hinge things off and then I just covered it up with some paper here. And it was like this, so I just took and cut along this side and it was after I had already attached it I decided that it was too close the hinge was sticking up right here on the fold and I didn't want that so I cut 
the two off. Yeah, so there's five pages in there. And I took the ribbon and ran it along here and hot glued it there and then put the paper over it. So that is my envelope mini album. Hope you guys like. Have a great day. Bye.